Hi, it's Corrine, and today I've made several handmade journals. These are really quick and easy to come together. They're really, they make really great gifts to give, and I do have a video showing how these came together. I did use graphic stock. If you follow me, you have seen in the past that I've used graphic stock. I absolutely love graphic stock. They have the largest unlimited downloaded library of graphics, photos, vectors, and images on the internet. They have over 300,000 plus images and content that you can use. So if you're not familiar with how that works, most websites charge per image or per graphic, and some even charge up to $30 per image. But with Graphic Stock, you can get an unlimited amount of downloads with your membership. They do have an annual plan, which is $99, and it's unlimited access. Um, they are offering my subscribers a seven-day free trial. You'll find the information down in the description box. And during that seven-day free trial, you can download 140 pieces of content. So check it out. See what they have. They have so much to choose from. And all their memberships come with 100% royalty-free agreement, which what that means for you is you cannot get sued by copyright holders for use and you can use the content in any commercial projects that you have as well. So let me just show you quickly their website and also other ways that I have used graphic stock. So when you go to www.graphicstock.com this is going to be your home screen. They have a search bar feature that you can search for anything that you want and like I had said they have vectors, illustrations, photos that you can choose. If you're using a vector file, you it's editable, so you can edit it to customize whatever you need, whether you want to change the background, the color of the paper, add text, remove text, whatever you'd like to do. And if you scroll down, again, you can choose by photos, illustrations, vectors, if you're looking for something sp specific, or you can browse by category. So if you're looking for something holiday related, you wanna to go to holidays and celebrations, fictional design elements, so on and so forth. And let me just show, quickly show you, if you search anything you're looking for, so say I search flowers, and in the meantime, why, why that's loading up, I want to show you other ways that I've used it. Here is my YouTube channel, and this image in the background is from Graphic Stock. My, um, my blog on Blogspot, the background here is also from Graphic Stock. And I've even used it for my Facebook page. But there's tons to choose from. This was one of my favorites, and so I used it in those three different categories. But here I've searched under flowers and as you can see there are just anything you're looking for you can find. Let me look under Christmas here. I've made greeting cards with this. Um, I've used it as digital papers. Anything that you want and when you go to download an image if I if I hover over this image you're going to see this green download bar when you select that, it's going to show you if this comes in a vector or a JPEG file. So if you're looking for just an image, which is what I did today, you're going to want to save that as a JPEG file. So all, all the journals that I made today are from JPEG files that I have gotten here from Graphic Stock. This video is sponsored by, by Graphic Stock. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, they are offering a seven day free trial for all my subscribers. So check out the description box, stop by Graphic Stock and see all what they have to offer. And I hope you enjoy the process of how these journals came together. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching.